future of veteran Carson Harris. Big time for her to their defense and their offenses and, and get some things going. So that first goal out of the way. Draw control here for Drexel. First of the game for the Dragons. Taken by Carson Harris, who has had a historic season in her final year with Drexel. 62 goals, a new program record. Ali Miller, the former All-American with us. Sam Niederman here as well. Glad that you're here for a little May lacrosse opening round of the NCAA tournament. Drexel. And another draw win for the Dragons. Niederman along with the former Stony Brook star Kylie Olmiller. 4-1 here in the first quarter of the NCAA tournament. Drexel with another draw win. The Dragons have been contained by Stony Brook's number one defense in the country. Only goal came from a free position opportunity. It was Lucy Snyder ahead. 37th goal of the season for the graduate from... So making sure that both players have an equal opportunity to get the ball up and out, which... Right there, Grace Harding does not, uh, which Charlotte Verhulst does not. And, and Harding swipes it out, taken by Carson Harris. The Dragons win a draw, and they've got to get to work. Now, Drexel still winning 6-5. Another one of those ones, so if you're watching of what you see the score of right now, Stony Brook doing a good job at causing some turnovers, getting those possessions, so it's not necessarily mirroring the draw score here. But Drexel just kind of racking them up here being able to kind of provide some more opportunities on their offensive end. Well, Carson Harris is really leading the way. She scoops up another ground ball. The veteran has earned her team another possession. First, period, uh, first half, 8 out of 13. And they'll take the first one to start the third quarter. Carson Harris with another scoop. Make that 9 for Carson Harris on the day. 9 draw controls in just over 30 minutes of play. Just of being in there in the moment. You see the Stony Brook team doing a, a great job of that. Draw control win by Carson Harris and Drexel. She's up to double digit draw controls now. Player that the Drexel coaching staff described as an absolute rock. Doesn't get a lot of credit for her type of play. A lot of it between the 30s, but boy, has she made an impact as a veteran player.